I found a dress at a thrift store for about $50. It was a little more than I wanted to spend for one, but that was only because I knew I could have gotten other ones for $25 or even $5 that week. I really like using wedding dresses and prom dresses as bases for costumes when I don't feel like doing a lot of sewing, but I want something elegant. Wedding dresses are wonderful because they are white and can be any color you want if you know how to dye them. The other reason why I sprung for this particular wedding dress was because it was silk and I really like working with silk. Other element to this costume was a corset. Now corsets are nigh impossible to find at thrift stores. I got a white one online, cheap as I can find and it was satin. A little too shiny for the look that I wanted for this character. So I'm also going to show you how I roughed things up, gave it a little more texture and was able to tie it into the overall look of the banshee. All right, let's get to that tutorial. The train on the dress was really long, so I cut that off and used the excess material from that to create these really cool drapey things that came off of the shoulders. And I dyed those a different color to give it a little more depth. I really wanted to elongate the look of this character, so all that poofy stuff underneath needed to go. Today we are working with the eye dye naturals in two different colors, gunmetal gray for the main part of the dress and turquoise, though it's more like an icy blue in my opinion. I'm using that for the corset and the back drapey bits. I'm gonna show you how to do an ombre dye technique. You will find the instructions on the inside of the dye packet, but I will also link the eye dye instructions I found online. Usually with natural fabrics, like cotton, rayon, or linen, you'll want to use salt to fix the dye. But silk is different and we need white vinegar. You're going to use one third cup of white vinegar per packet of dye. Use a stainless steel pot that you will use for nothing else than dyeing material. Bring your water to a boil, then turn it down to a simmer. Add your dye packet and stir till they are fully dissolved. This will take a few minutes. Be patient. Oh my God, Kenzie, put on some gloves. Okay, that's better. I'm filling the tub with hot water. Add the dye vat. Wet your garment before putting it in and slowly lower it down into the dye. I'm using a spoon to fully submerge the material because the water is way too hot to touch. Remember, anything you use for this dyeing process, only use for dye. Do not use it for food again. To start off, I submerged the whole garment, just until I achieved the lightest color I wanted. Then I pulled half of the garment out and let the bottom just sit for the rest of the 30 minutes that you need to set the dye to create that ombre color gradient. I took the scraps from the train, dyed them, and sewed them onto the straps of the dress. I left the bottom tattered. After taking a fine grain sandpaper to dull up the corset, I burned holes into the fabric. I used Tulip Glow Fabric Spray to give it an eerie, ghosty look in the dark. Also because making things glow is just rad. To make the holes pop more, I took a black Sharpie and colored in the burned edges of the holes. Well, I hope this video gives you more ideas on how to improve your costumes. If you have any questions on how to dye material or put some more depth and texture into your costumes, put those questions down in the comments and I will definitely try to get to them. Clicking the like button lets me know that you want more videos like this. If you want to see all the neat stuff I find at thrift stores every week, go to my social media accounts. If you are new to Thrift Store LARPer, click the subscribe button and the bell and let the robots let you know when the next one's going to be up. Have a happy and safe Halloween, everyone.